हेलो एवरी वन होप ऑल ऑफ यूर फाइन राइट नाउ आई एम एट हजूर साहेब नांदेड स्टेशन प्लेटफॉर्म नंबर टू एंड दिस इज आर ट्रेन मराठवाड़ा संपर्क क्रांति एक्सप्रेस अनदर संपर्क क्रांति एक्सप्रेस जर्नी फ्रॉम हजूर साहेब नांदेड टू डेली हजरत निजामुद्दीन ट्रेन इज रेडी ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म एंड आई क्विकली बोर्ड इट एंड वी विल सी हाउ द एक्सपीरियंस इज इन स्लीपर क्लास एंड लेट्स सी वेदर दिस ट्रेन इज पंक्चुअल और नॉट एंड हाउ द ओवरऑल एक्सपीरियंस इज इन स्लीपर क्लास लेट्स क्विकली बोर्ड द ट्रेन आई शो यू द कोच ले आउट and then we will see the departure and proceed with our journey so the train is uh, like not having the power right now this is my seat 7 number and the coach wasn't clean outside but inside it is clean it is little bit wet also we need i think maybe due to washing or wiping whatever would be the reason and now first i'll show you the coach layout and then we'll go outside for too much time left so i was thinking that power should have been there but it's not there anyways let me first quickly show you the coach layout and then proceed to the front and see which is the locomotive in charge of our train those are the three charging points as you can see there is a mirror and uh, the bottle holder is like this and these are the seats as you can see and uh, yeah that's the table and there is only one charging point over here and that looks in a uh, bad shape but i hope it is working and that's for the side low and side upper seat so all in all for eight seats there are like uh, four charging points that's it and that's how the coach layout is so now let's get to the front and see what is the loco in charge so after the departure from huzur sahib nandeed this is purna junction where we have stopped for the first time this is not the official halt and it is not too far from uh, huzur sahib nandeed also so i'm not sure why we have been stopped over here although it is a junction and uh, our first stop is parbhani junction which is not too far from here also actually the first stop is 58 kilometers from huzur sahib nandeed so i'm really surprised that the train didn't skip this particular station i was expecting it to do that but maybe some section controlling or some other reason whatever it would be let's see when we depart from here and when we reach our first stop that is parbhani junction
So we reached Parbhani Junction a little bit late and we had an extended halt and finally we have started here. A lot of general passengers like passengers having general ticket have boarded this particular train in sleeper class so that is something which is like a, a minus and it is a revenue loss for government and that is why there are many repercussions that happened that generally that eventually railway decides to cut down the sleeper and general class coaches because ultimately we people treat it in a wrong way. Let's see the departure from the other side and let's see when we reach Jalna. So we have reached Jalna with a delay of uh, more than 45 minutes. So the delay is uh, exceptionally lot and uh, the run was not good. So that is why the train has got so much delayed. I've ordered food online and let's see how it would be. It is going to come on the next station. So let's see when we reach over there. The distance is not too much from here. It is 60 kilometers or something like that. So I think we could be on time over there. Let's see when we reach there and how the food or the lunch would be. It is a thali which would be costing around like 250 rupees. So let's see how that. So that was some heavy rainfall which we saw here and uh, I finally got the food. The train has been stopped for quite some time now. 
but uh, anyways it's still bizzling so i'll get inside and show you the food and i'll quickly finish it also because i think we should be on time at manmad also here we are marginally delayed not too much so let's see how the run would be from manmad because that is actually the main line on which even the central railway rajdhani or any train like karnataka express or like i should say the manmad busawal bhopal jhansi delhi main line we would be traveling through so let's see the food i'll have it also and let you know how it is in terms of taste and quality and quantity so this is the food and this is two roti or chapati with butter i think applied and this is the dal and this is the salad which has cucumber carrot lemon and onion pickled salt also and this is the colored rice and this is the vegetable mixed vegetable curry in terms of quantity and pricing 250 i feel it is looking to be less but i'll have it and let you know how the taste and quantity is railway line going towards tond so in terms of the taste of the food it was fine and there was no issue with the taste at all and the quality was fine the quantity was really an issue and i would say it wasn't uh, the perfect value for money with respect to quantity of the food it should have been easily under 200 with the amount of quantity it was and um, yeah that's how it is Seen and the climate over here is really very fantastic. We are not too far from Manmad, and from Manmad till Kandwa, and after Kandwa, Kandwa Junction, it should be sunset. It should be an interesting run. I am hoping the run should have a lot of speed and good skips, and yeah, let's see how many more crossings, skips, and things are yet to be explored till sunset happens. and tomorrow will be an interesting day because tomorrow morning it will be really very fascinating to see where we are first of all and when we are overtaken by the central railway rajdhani because we are going to be overtaken by that train for sure so we will find out that also let's see first when we reach martel chen so that's the main line of mumbai Sawan, and we are joining that particular main line. Now we should be reaching one more station. Now we have two. After the arrival at Manmad Junction, I bought uh, two bread omelet. Like uh, actually, it was four to be precise, and uh, it was like a fifteen piece uh, or two pieces together. It's not like one single piece. Of so that was really very good in terms of uh, my food, and I don't think I would be needing anything in dinner. Plus, the after Busawal, this particular train will be directly stopping at Bhopal. Even if you want something to buy, and if you're traveling by this particular train, I would recommend buy a bread omelet or have a good lunch, and that would be good enough. You can get online options for Sawal and Jalga also. Now the climate outside is okay. 
fantastic. Let's see some interesting skips and crosses. We are delayed, but I don't think that is a big issue. We can cover up any time further in our Let's enjoy outside some interesting skips and crosses. So our train has reached Jalgaon with a delay of more than 30 minutes and I hope you enjoyed those skips and crossings. It was a very good run after I would say like uh, mid part of uh, Manmad and Jalgaon. Between Manmad and Chalesgaon, the run wasn't that great. Anyways, uh, the session of stops will be now completed because next stop is Bhusawal and after that it is directly Bhopal. So yeah, the run will be continuous but uh, the evening should be done by I think like one and a half hour or so. That's it. I think maybe by Burhanpur itself it will be done. We will see how that would be because it is very important to see when we reach Bhusawal and when we depart from there. After that, I will also try to show you Tapti River Bridge and uh, I hope the run would be great as it was for the last 30 minutes or so. We will find out that.
सो वी आर फाइनली रीचिंग भुसावल एंड वी आर रीचिंग एट सिक्स थर्टी और आई शुड से आफ्टर सिक्स थर्टी बाय द टाइम वी स्टॉप एट भुसावल एंड द डीले इज कंसिस्टेंट सो या वी आर स्टिल मोर देन थर्टी मिनट्स लेट आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग आर ट्रेन टू कवर अप बट दे वॉज सम ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन विच हैपन जस्ट एट द एग्जिट ऑफ जलगांव एंड देन एट द आउट आउटर ऑफ भुसावल जंक्शन ऑल्सो वी वॉज स्टॉप Now we are finally entering into Bhusawal Junction. So let's see the arrival. Let's see when we depart from here. Following which I will show you Tapti River Bridge, which is very beautiful and big to see. So let's see when we depart from uh, Bhusawal, and then we will see the Tapti River Bridge and whatever skips I could capture till the daylight is there.
So that was some fantastic run and the train is still doing a very good run. If in case you want to have something in dinner, then uh, the last option for online would be Busawal because Bhopal will be coming after 12. So that would be significantly late. Side Pantry is selling some veg biryani and egg biryani. I'm not sure how the quality would be, but if in case you're hungry, no option, then you can try that also. Ask for bill. If they're not providing, you can complain on 139 Rail Mother app or even IRCTC Twitter handle you can use or Rail Seva Twitter handle you can use tag and put in your complaint also with respect to quality, cost and it. I'll take some rest because uh, tomorrow morning could be very interesting also. We could see Bhopal Chatabdi, Vande Bharat Express, Rajdhani, many more things and we should also be seeing our final halt official that is Agra Khan. So let's see how the journey unfolds and let's see where we are in the morning. Good night for now. See you in the morning. A very good morning and we have just left Gwalior behind and that was some interesting run from Jhansi till Gwalior and I am expecting that uh, our train would be get overtaken by Central Railway Rajdhani before Agra Khan itself. So if that happens, I will definitely try to show you and uh, let's see the Jambal River Bridge, Morena script and many more things to come up because uh, there will be Bhopal Shatabdi crossing also we would be also probably meeting Vande Bharat Express so many things to be seen and I'll try to capture as many shots as possible and show it to you because this section has been so far very wonderful in terms of run 
and i hope it is fantastic from here onwards till agra and then further till delhi also let's enjoy this fascinating morning with a pleasant climate in marathwada sampark kranti So we have reached Agra Kand more than five minutes before time. So we would be roughly stopping around like seven eight minutes minimum. And uh, Vande Bharat Express, which is bound for Khajuraho, is also about to arrive. So I'll show you that also in a minute time. And this particular place is very important. If in case you are coming over here for tourism purpose or anything else also, you would get pretty much everything. There is a lot of places to visit. There are a lot of uh, historical monuments. The sweet dish that is peta is also very famous. Different snacks are also very famous. And if in case you are traveling by air train, then I would recommend you can get any snacks or online food also over here. All those features are available on this particular station. and the city is very famous one of the very important city in uttar pradesh also from here our train will be directly stopping to hazrat nizamuddin so i'm expecting the run to be good we should be meeting even bhopal chatabhi i'll try to show you that also first let's see the arrival of khajurao bound vande bharat express sir one day on express so hazrat nizamuddin to khajurao bharat so that was the arrival of vande bharat express and it promptly left from agra kand with its scheduled halt of i think 2 minutes or so and we are still waiting we are over 2 minutes of our scheduled departure time so we are still waiting and let's see when we depart from here 
as soon as we depart i think we should be meeting with uh, punjab mail following which i think we should be meeting with bhopal chatabdi so we will find out that also and uh, as far as trains being ahead central railway rajdhani is ahead of us and mahakoshal express is also i think uh, ahead of us but uh, i think we might overtake it if in case the controllers decide to as per schedule we should be reaching before it so we'll find out whether that happens like the overtake happens or not
finally we reached Hazrat Nizamuddin railway station sharp on time at 10:30 so that was like a bang on time arrival and i hope you enjoyed all the skips and crossings which i showed to you from agra till hazrat nizamuddin and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to hit the like button thanks a lot for watching the video always travel safe take care and be happy and if you still have any questions queries or suggestions feel free to use the comment section goodbye for now see you in some another journey